episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to do a teaser for an upcoming series, and the Beard, since it was his brainchild, is going to tell us about the series. Right. So the series is basically on That Leslie Sam. Uh, and in the series, we'll probably, we're hoping to look at a real Leslie. Yeah. Um, we're hoping maybe touch base with some people and look at some of that kind of stuff. A little bit of history of the Leslie maybe, but get pretty much right into pedals that give you that Leslie sound. Uh, primarily focused on like Leslie simulators and emulator type pedals. That said, there could be an episode even where we say, well, let's look at pedals that aren't Leslie simulators, but give us that Leslie sound. So basically, yeah, everything Leslie, right? I've just said Leslie 74 times. I'm just laughing because I, I call those other pedals or pedals that aren't really Leslie's Leslie's stepsister. So we have to right. figure out what the Leslie stepsister name is going to be. Right, right, right. So can I jump into this one then? Because sure. this one, I it, it's kind of like what's closer than a stepsister. I don't know. But this micro course is a chorus. And maybe we'll have the beard played as a chorus. But the reason we started with this was because... I'm still trying to delineate what's the Leslie sound and what's something else, right? Because I love tremolos. I have Caesar Diaz tremolo. I love, we've got other tremolos on the show. Almost everyone's mine because I love that warble sound. I love that Mm -hmm. fast sound, that stuttery sound sometimes. So the simplest thing to do for the simple person trying to figure it out is we're going to start with a pedal that has one (laughs) knob. And not, but to confuse me a little bit, it says chorus, but he's going to play it. Right. And I'm just going to let him keep playing, and so, I'm going to turn the knob. Without getting into history, too, I think it, it, it just from what you're saying right now, if you go back to the very beginning, like why, where, what is the Leslie? Where did it come from? The Leslie, my understanding of it, I'll have a better understanding before we do that episode, but my understanding right now is, you know, a guy sitting at home with his organ, and it doesn't sound like the pipe organ at church. It's just flat. So he develops this way to kind of give it, some space and some, you know, three-dimensional kind of character to it by putting a baffle around the speaker and making it spin. Because, not to get into the weeds a little bit, but if you know anything about a Leslie, you probably associate it with a Hammond B3. You probably associate the the sound with an organ. Right. But there were many guitarists that like, what is that magical sound, right? So... Right, so in the cards, we have a playlist. Yeah. Of that songs. features songs that use the Leslie, so you can go and check those out. But let's do... Yeah, so Micro Chorus, right? MXR, Micro Chorus. He's going to play. I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to get it up, because he coached me a little bit. I'm going to get it up to where it's doing the Leslie thing, and then we're going to stop, right? Okay. And then, and then we're going to jump into the other pedal. Well, why don't you stop there, and then, and then we'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, and we're just playing PRS McCarty 2000 into a uh, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. And I'm just holding an Alsip guitar, because I can't. Right. All right, so here's the micro course. take it all the way around because all the way around is not where we were headed right, it, right. it's way too it gets much. too much yeah so it gets a pretty convincing leslie sound but the problem is there's a problem it's always a problem right is that what when you use like if you go when you watch somebody playing a hammond b3 yeah. they don't turn on the leslie at that fast setting and just let it ride there Right, go watch and find a video of somebody playing a B three on who's the Corey the, uh, Corey um yeah <sighs> type in B three and Corey you'll get it Hammond and Corey right yeah. um but they don't just sit there with that fast Corey, speed Corey, on Corey Henry maybe maybe you watch their uh, left hand and you'll see them flipping the switch back and forth they'll speed it up they'll slow it down they'll speed it up they'll slow it down so in true Leslie. One of the, I think one of the things that really makes them really effective is that ability to change the speed. Right. So and that's where the that's where the limitation comes in in this. Right. But it does the fast 
really well, as you're going to hear as we go forward. Yeah, I think it does It does a pretty nice... And it wasn't a bad chorus either. <laughs> right, fast Leslie sound. So then we jump over here to this pedal. This is a DLS Effects Rotospin. And so as we've been getting ready for the Leslie series, we've had we've been reaching out to a lot of companies, and there's been companies that have uh, a few companies that have sent us something or given us a pretty good discount. And so we reached out to DS, DLS Effects and told them what we were doing and that we were putting the series together, and they were kind enough to help us out with this pedal. So we're going to use that in the little sneak peek here, yeah. preview. Um, and just kind of feature what it sounds like when you can go between fast and slow. And I'm going to try to push buttons at the so right time. So we're not getting into all of the, uh, you, you know, and then... Oh my gosh, I, I do. I go in the hole. I go down the rabbit hole. Well, it's hard not right. to when you're looking down at five knobs and a toggle switch and two switches. Right. So we're not going to get mm -hmm. into all the features this time. We will do an independent episode for this pedal yeah. later. Later. And on this pedal, I think it's worth saying, you know, you have more control over the horn. So the top spinning the horn. Mm -hmm. You have more control over the speed, the bass rotor and how much bass you put in. You have control over how fast the slow speed is, how fast the fast speed is. There's even a gain button, and you can change ramp between speeds. So how fast it ramps up to fast and then back to, down to slow. So that's a whole nother ball. Right. Whole nother. And other Leslie pedals have some other, like some of them you can change how close the microphone is to the speaker or how far it is away from the speaker. So. We thought a good thing for this would to start where the micro chorus left off. Right. right? So we'll start there. You'll play and you'll give me the kick or the nod of when I'm going to hit the ramp and you'll hear it slow down. Right. And then we'll speed it back up. Right. All right. So let's kick that one on. Uh, this is the on button. Look at me. Ooh. And do we want to kick the micro course off? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. So here we go. <laughs> up it makes me happy every time <laughs> i don't know why like i said like i smile when i circle it's great yeah right. yeah so that's it right that that's that's the difference the ramp i mean Fast that's a huge difference yeah. right from, from a one one knob wonder right and, and which is me in the rotary series by the way <laughs> well it's not even the ramp it's the the fact that you have fast or slow that's an, that's yeah, the first right. difference that you can go between the two yeah then you have how fast you go between that so all the different Leslie pedals we've looked at, some have those features, some don't have those features. You can get some kind of really inexpensive ones like the Dan Electro that has some of that, but maybe not all of that. You can get some really expensive ones that have even more. But then some of the really expensive ones, like if you get like a vintage um, Hughes and Keitner Rotosphere, right? Um, you got a fast and a slow, and you have no control over what the fast speed is and what the slow speed is. So this would have more right. control of that than the rotosphere would. Very but then the rotosphere has two bits. Yeah, so I mean, it's like, right, it's all different. They're that's why, different. That's why it's a whole series. That's why we're doing a series. So jump into these and check them out. So I think if you're interested in the series and want to find out more about Leslie Pedals, again, thanks to uh, DL DLS Effects. I don't know why I'm tripping over that uh, for helping us out with that. Um, subscribe to the channel. Click like on the video. Click notifications. Go to Facebook. Go to Instagram. Follow us there. Whatever. Uh, and I think with that, this is PJ on behalf of the Beard reminding you: no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear, especially when it does this. <laughs>
know I have to do something stupid at the end of every episode. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yes. Wasn't sure what you were going to figure out to do then. As far as you hit like the drive and the delay. I could have. I didn't think about it. Let's go back. <laughs> There's more time. <laughs>